Hello, Quantum Leap Callers. Happy Thursday. It's Crystal Downey Shada. Just leaving you a quick message today. I found myself uh, tiptoeing into <laughs> and uh, affected by overwhelm. I don't know if that ever happens for you, but I noticed that um, some big things are happening in my world and um, moving some office things and selling some furniture. And my mom just had surgery, so I'm her transportation. And then regular life stuff, and I'm gearing up some new changes in my unit. I'm like, you know, want to do an app, and um, I have all of these things. Have you ever noticed that when you have all of these things, then you have all of these things? So whatever it may be, whatever it is that we are navigating can sometimes load up and have us navigating extra things that we hadn't planned to be navigating. So um, I share this with you because uh, I think all of us can experience a little bit of overwhelm in the doing that can happen um, from time to time in life. It could be that it's the holidays. It could be because the kids are starting back to school. It could be because we have a worldwide pandemic and we get to do everything different than how we've been doing it for our entire Mary Kay lives until now. So I don't know what could cause it, but we, I think all of us visit it at least from time to time, overwhelm that is. We, we have a visit with overwhelm from time to time. I found myself in that, and it's been escalating a little bit day by day until yesterday. I looked at what got to happen today, and I found myself a little mm, overwhelmed. Like, it's too much. It's more than what I can do and what I can handle, and um, and it's been building to this. So... In that, I noticed, okay, how do I navigate overwhelm? What do I do to walk myself through that process so it doesn't take me out and so I can still be effective at the things that I'm called to do in my life? And as I noticed that, I thought, hmm, maybe that would be a good call and that would be a good topic because perhaps that would support you when you find moments that you are overwhelmed. Um, so, and I think this is overwhelmed in all of the different ways we may find ourselves overwhelmed. Uh, so the first thing was just that I paused, <laughs> I took a deep breath. And by the way, your pause can be a momentary pause. It doesn't need to be a pause. Like I'm going to put my life on hold and pause. So if you're thinking, I don't have time to pause, that's why you really need to pause is for that, to take a breath, to stop for a moment and breathe and realize that all of the things that uh, need to be done will get done. And, and something about that pausing and taking a breath is so therapeutic to calm the amygdala part of our brain, which is that back brain that freaks out and run, you know, works in flight, fight, or fear and, and can really increase all that's happening and all of the feelings around it and all of the freak na- freaked outness around it. So taking some deep breaths. I love cleansing breaths. Three cleansing breaths are amazing. Breathe in um, pretty fast and deep, really deep, for um, about four, the count of four, and then hold it for the count of seven, eight, so that that way it gives your your body time to just be still and then release the breath and release everything out of your lungs to the count of like seven, eight. So that's a, a deep cleansing breath and do it about three times or until you can find yourself calming and finding a, a peaceful place in you and a quieting of your mind. Um, another great little meditation, this is from Wayne Dyer, and he used to do this at stoplights, that he would just quietly meditate using the Lord's Prayer. And he would say the first word of the Lord's Prayer and then just hold until another thought came in his brain and as soon as another thought came up, great. He'd do the next word of the, of the Lord's Prayer and then just hold with nothing you know, just quietness, a stillness in the mind. And when I first started doing that type of meditation, that kind of a focused meditation, I it wasn't very long before thoughts were right back in my brain. So then as I practiced it, 
I could go longer and longer and longer between words. So that's another little meditative process along with the cleansing breath that can support you in the first step of the three P's in navigating overwhelm, which is pause. The sec- And again, it's momentary. This is not a pause for a week. This is not a pause for days or a month or whatever. This is just a momentary pause to to become present with yourself. Next is, the next P is prioritize. And that is, what is it that I want? And what am I about? What am I creating? What matters to me? And in that, then of the the list of things to do, first of all, get them on paper, because it's always less once it's on paper, believe it or not. And then what are the priorities? So the second P is prioritize. What are the priorities? And priorities are what aligns with what matters to me in my life. What aligns? And you guys, my priorities used to be what do I need to have in my life for my family and what needs to be done in my Mary Kay business so that I can also then support my family. Like that, that was the priority. I never came into that mix of taking care of me. Um, that pausing, being present, meditation, sleep, that navigating what we, what is so frequently called self-care, but I think it's just so much deeper than that, never came up in the priorities. And I burned myself out. I just did because that never came up. So what are the priorities for you for your life? And what are the priorities that are now, what are the long-term priorities, and then how do I prioritize this list around what matters to me? What things must be done, what things must be done now, and what things must be done by me? Because there's a lot of things on that list that could be done by somebody else, and they could be done at another time. Um, And, of course, my always my caution for myself is if I'm moving something to later, that doesn't mean I'm moving it to later to avoid it. I'm moving it to later because of the priority that it is. So, you know, booking, calling my consultants, calling my customers, those kinds of things are a priority. So they don't get to be just put off indefinitely. So prioritizing that process. What is the priority? Right right now, my mom uh, needs me for transportation. That's a priority. So how is it that I can prioritize mom because she matters to me, and also prioritize the fact that I've got a big red event coming up on Saturday, and I have a lot of preparation to do for that. How do I get to navigate all of that? Because it's all important. But quite honestly, I have my my cleaning my house duties today that are kind of my pickup and my whatever. So what do those things actually have to be done today, right? That may be not be quite as high on the priority list. So I could take a breath when I move those things. Um, What are the other things that I can move? Oh, I need to check on some car insurance things, and I need to check on some some other things that are not emergent right now. Well, great. That doesn't have to be done today. That could be moved. And it's on paper, or if you will, in my calendar. So it's not going to be lost. I don't have to use my brain energy to remember it. I can just put it over here, and then I will work through it at that time. Okay, second P is prioritize. Net, and by the way, no is a complete sentence. You can say no. And you can say no without having an explanation. You can just say no. That doesn't work for me right now. Um, that is probably one of the most powerful parts of prioritizing that there is. Next, the third P is press forward. So once I've paused, I've caught my breath. And I brought myself to present. I prioritize what matters to me for my life, and therefore my list is a priority. It has been prioritized. Now, pri- press forward with the next step. What is the next step in this moment? Bring myself right back to right here, right now. When I am freaked out and overwhelmed about all the things, it's because I am not present with right here, right now. So right here, right now, I'm recording this call for you. It's the only thing I'm doing. I'm not thinking about all of the other things that need to be done today, Um, all of the other things that need to be done between now and Saturday, all of the other things that need to be done Saturday, right? I'm prioritizing right here, right now, present. 
and what is my next step forward? And let's do that. And then when that's finished, let's move to the next step. Because part of our multitasking wears us out. And we're less effective in all of the places. And we're exhausted. So challenging you to not multitask. How about you just be right here? Do what's called for right here. And then we will move to the next one. Now, when I say don't multitask, when my mom is at her hair appointment, I will be doing some other things because there's she's doing her thing. I will be doing mine during that time. Um, so that's not multitasking. That is she's busy. I'm a new place. I have a mobile office, so I'm going to be working from wherever I am. Does that make sense? I hope that I'm explaining that in a way that has some clarity for you. That's not multitasking. I can't be present with my mother because she's getting her hair fixed, right? Um, So multitasking when I'm on the phone and watering my plants and checking the mail and changing laundry, that's a little bit more multitasking that that can tax us. So press forward with the next step and be present with that. All right, hugs to you. Uh, Hoping this was supportive for you and have an amazing day. Bye-bye.